are back we are returned lads hi hi ladies guys i'm, uh, I'm trying to eat my my second dinner right now second, so look you, how tasty you, it is you're living <laughs> living your best life as a hobbit eh it is 3 a.m look i'm hungry okay god loves second second dinner mm. second breakfast second brunch second lunch the second every if you want to eat it just yeah I, I have pizza of that message. I had pizza at half past seven this morning. <laughs> After I've been to the gym. So, Daniel, you've you freshly moved out to the coast. And um, what's the... I mean, I feel like the most generic question is, what's the weather like? So, it's pretty funny. What Currently, it's not what people think. Everyone's like, oh my god, it's raining all the time. It probably is, but it's not raining at all since I've moved here. Yeah. Summer's beautiful. Uh, it's been very sunny, 91 degrees with breeze, with wind. Nice. And you see, yeah, yeah. You don't even feel it. The humidity is only like 23% compared to in Florida, it's like 100 something percent mm -hmm. uh, humidity. So I don't feel the sweat. I'm not sweating. I'm just, I feel the heat, which is a different heat. I like it. Uh, not only that, the, uh, I love the timing. Like right now, your time would be 8 to 12. My time right now is from 5 to 9. So when, at, when we're finished, People are going to be going to bed. I'm going to go to the barcade, get some more drinks nice. and stuff like that. So that's that's cool. It's, it's cool as shit. It's pretty. It's pretty cool that now that a lot of the stuff are still based Eastern, and I and I'm based now Pacific, so I have extra time. It's really cool. I like it. Hell yeah. Well, damn, color me jealous. I guess I'm just gonna have to move out to the coast myself now. Come on, man, let's go. I'm gonna have <laughs> a nap, and then I'm gonna go for a dog walk. Then I really. Can... I can Love fulfill my dream that I had, like, second session where I was like, I had a dream that Leslie and myself and Daniel and, and Natty were hanging out watching, like, the original Nightmare on Elm Street. And that... <laughs> I, I feel, it's happening, man. It's happening. It's gonna come full circle. Yeah, got, we're gonna make it happen. I got the films, bro. I got the films. Oh, man. I got the films on VHS, bro. I had a dream oh, last no. night that there was multiple streamers and we were taking part in this, um... <laughs> little remote control car competition oh, it was really fun. weird and then one of the girls i know she had loads of sponsors and the prize for this remote control car competition was a thousand dollars in england um but all the sponsors were paying well for the to, her to be on it it was very confusing anyway i had a barbecue <laughs> <laughs> uh, i like your dream. dream yeah I, li I like your dream that's awesome i have fucking weird dreams no one died that time. That time. That time. That time. All right. So, we left off with the question. What does Nyx do? What does Nyx do? Now, oh, God, I hope not. Nyx, <laughs> now that you you know that, that Mogar hasn't arrived, he's, he's not shown up, what was Mogar even doing there? That's a good question, because she doesn't fucking know. He was just, like, wrecking shit. So, as far as she knows, he was just fucking up the town. Like, she doesn't know that he knew that she was there or anything like that. He's just destroying property. <laughs> I mean, it was it was kind of convenient, yeah? I mean... Oh, no, totally convenient. But she's, like, she's definitely not going to put two and two together. Like, let's be real. That's unfortunate. All right. She's probably cold and tired, so she's like, what a weirdo. Now, I definitely go inside, and Cash is probably there with fucking three Literally bottles like, of wine. Like, tomorrow's like three bottles of wine in and by the <laughs> fire. Getting all nice and cozy on that, like, bare rug. You okay there, bud? Because I'm a little bit, I don't know. Uh, yeah, she's probably <laughs> eating. It's like she is now. Super fucked up, and I just come in freezing, like, Blanket me. So we probably girl gossip about why the fuck Mogar was there. Like she's just like drunk. So I'm like, yeah, I went to go steal some fucking potions. She's so, like, so oh my god, no way! Like it turns into like a girl. Let's let's party. let's make it. I want this to happen. This is this is okay. our best life. Let's so, go, Samara. Samara, what's what's going on? What what are you just doing? Just PSA. 
I'm going to talk my mouthful, and I apologize. But okay. it's part of All right. the fact that I'm hungry. Hit me with it. You know, what are you doing? You're getting, you're, it's a bit wet. Why are you wet? What are you I doing? Took a, I took Go a away swim. from me. I, it's, it's sundial o'clock. Like... <laughs> Have you checked the sundial? <laughs> Do you know what time it is? Do you know what <laughs> The time is very late. <laughs> time is nice, Samara. Okay, well... <laughs> this is my <laughs> wine. I've had a hell of a fucking day. It's like... Right, I... It's so weird because I'm picturing this. You skulk in, soaking wet and shivering, and it's like you just caught Samara in the fridge with a bag of shredded cheese, like... What time it is? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, what, what have you done today? What? What? what I'm not doing anything wrong. What are you That's doing? Literally, wrong? I picture this. this. is so good. What are you? I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm uh, not doing anything wrong either, Miss Miss Fancy Pants. Fucking warm. Jesus. All right. But listen, I just listen. had a midnight swim. Okay. And How did that I have go? stumbled upon, and I'm like, and I have <laughs> stumbled upon Vance. Remember Vance? Uh, b- b- Pats? Vance, the guy that fucking does this, <laughs> strokes his hair back like all sexy. You remember? Creepy McGee? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, you fucking remember him? Give me one of those. Oh, I have uh, one of those. I have, like, wait, um, wait, what? a little bit. Oh, do no, we have to do anything it. about it? Because, oh, no. I mean, I'm busy right now. Okay. <laughs> She's still eating. <laughs> Vince is like, can I just... Can, can, do we have can to? I just, can, can, can I just... Okay, well... All right, well, that's not going anywhere. Yeah, but he's alive, and... And then Moga was here. Okay, look, I... Look. You know, although it was very, like, well thought out that Mogar was fucking up the town. Why he was fucking up the town? So, um, and now he's not here, and I'm a little worried, and I think we need to form a search party. There's only so much room that man can fucking can I get up. A, can I get a perception, please, from both of you? Fuck. Okay. Uh, I do things this... Oh, God. Plus four. So, how are we doing on those fucking follows, you guys? Oh, I'm gonna reroll because I have those. Uh, we just got two more from Cool and from Zab. I got a twenty-four. That's really hell good. yeah. Um, so, okay, well, this is when I pick up the tea and I sober up. Samara, you will immediately notice that a shadow forms overhead before Kendra uh, reveals oh. herself just behind the uh, shivering. Uh, wet, I suppose, hay-addled Nyx <laughs> that's slowly that reaching like out for, life. for some yes. of some of. Can, can I just give give, give me a little give, give, I want a piece piece. Give me give me a piece piece. And yeah. Kendra, I guess at this point you would see that Nyx hasn't noticed. Lowers her head down by Nyx's. Hi, Kendra. How you doing? You can. Oh my God! You uh, need a fucking bell around your neck. Jesus Christ. Well, uh, Who's that? And you, you said you committed a crime. No. Well, I know I didn't mishear you. You said it f- several times rather loudly. I... No. You definitely did. I definitely I need you to bluff. Bluff. <laughs> you fucking bluff me, daddy. Bluff. I got this. Fucking... Bluff me, daddy. <laughs> bluff me, daddy. Yes, oh. me. <laughs> you don't bluff that ass. Your bluff right? is so high. Let's see. I, it really is. My tea is too hot. He needs more wine instead. So then you just go into any place and just talk about how you committed a crime. We were talking about the days where I used to commit a lot of crime. <sighs> 
I used to time. be in dungeons and sulking and yeah, you know, I didn't have the best childhood, Kendra. Way to fucking bring it up. Oh, Listen. sorry, I'm opening my lemonade. I'm not here to immediately judge your childhood, but I, 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 I suppose it begs the question: Why would you go for a swim? You'll catch the death of you. It's freezing outside. You know, I was, I was feeling a little hot. You could no, just take. Getting a little ants. You could just remove some clothing. We we have not nightgowns for a reason. I am not a hussy, Kendra. I don't think she needs encouragement for that right now, Kendra. Oh my God, my nipples are for me and me alone right now. God. It, it looks as if it's for you and for the hay as well. Listen, what I do with hay and so stuff did, in my did you hands get, is So did you get did you get cold concern. then? I may have gotten a bit chilly. Yes. It was probably not my best idea, but hello, have you seen me? This really shouldn't come as a shock to you, Kendra. See, I've just got word from uh, from people passing by that something had happened in town. Wait, what? Something happened in town? That's a bluff. <laughs> that is the, hard, <laughs> the hard chorus of bluffs. <laughs> I, I like for a brief moment you almost sold me on it. You're almost too good at lying in real life. Wait, something happened in town? It was those eyes. Oh my god. Right. God damn it. Damn. God damn it. The only thing I can do is nat if I nat twenty, then I I can see through your facade. Oh, oh nope. so close! No. So close. Not even close. No. <laughs> get slayed, bub. Yeah, fucking get the D &D is sad <laughs> right now. So you you have no idea then? No, like I literally just went for a swim, stuffing my pants full of corn, and I'm back here. I will say that I have been eating your food. You know, come to think of it, Kendra, I. I did kind of hear something, like a, like an explosion. Not like an explosion, but like something, some, some ruckus. I did hear that, and it spooked me a little bit. After that whole thing with the, with me being possessed, you know, I spooked rather easily. Well, where, where did you hear this? Well, I was only like, I was only a couple of feet from the house. Like 425 feet from the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, God, just about. Just about like 425 feet from the house. Just a few. Just a wee little bit. Dipping myself into the rather large lake. The, the river just didn't seem to do it for me. What? Hello? Hello, Bob? Hello? Ah! The Bubba? Ah! Tell me you love me! Tell <laughs> me you love me when you leave me. <laughs> oh he my wants God. to tell me. Stop it. He wants to tell me. <laughs> Hello? He wishes he could tell me, but his <laughs> mic is just is, is preventing him. No? Keep telling tell yourself me, that, Daniel. It's okay. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Bob. Hello. Yeah. yeah. So, did you like my singing? I, I, I <laughs> it was great. I uh, good. I remind good. me to compensate you later accordingly. Space mom sounds good. We definitely <laughs> reroll. <laughs> so you, there's some things in your story that's just not lining up. You said you had gone 425 feet away to take. A dip because you were cool or because you were oh, what you said overheating and then yeah. you decided that you were too cool particularly in and around your your nipula region and now you stuffed your pants and top with hay i i literally like nix was fucking looking at her like she's fucking crazy like yes that is what i said do you have a problem with the way that i cool down because this is seeming like you have a problem with my attitude if you're gonna bring up my childhood again, Kendra, I suggest you go to bed right now. I I suggest that you not make demands of me in my own home. Uh oh. Or did you forget that? 
I will leave. Do you want me to leave? Kendra, I just... Look, I know I'm a child, okay? I know that. I am three foot there's, three. There's the door. Weighing it at 333 pounds. Uh, so I think that... You're, you're three um, foot three and you weigh 333 pounds. I know that sounds really? Silly. You would be shaped like a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> You just need a bowl. <laughs> that is literally what you sats we did. Hold up. So let me read you. I'm age 30. Joking. No, I'm 33 in no years. I'm 3 foot 3, 33 in weight. That's yes. like, oh, just a whole bunch of fucking. Right. Yes, not 333. Oh, that would be gross. That would be ridiculous. You would just be. Um, a goddamn hot dog. Yeah. I don't even know what, that, what pounds is, but that's too much. It's 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 a lot. Um, I would say that three hundred and thirty-three is probably I'm like so good. Twenty-three point uh, seven stone. Or like okay. one hundred and thirty kilos, I think. Wait, what do you guys? So you, you don't measure um, in pounds. What do you measure in stone? Stones and kilograms. I just stones. Did, we're stones. I just did pounds. stone the other day on stream, and people were like, "Who the fuck uses stone?" Well, we learned in be stone. Surprised. Like, I. I use stone, but like what? for body weight, but for everything else, it's kilograms. Yeah. It's really weird. Um, and I feel like my nephew wouldn't know what 10 stone was. Because. It's like what, 14 pounds? 140 pounds is 10 stone. Oh, yeah, excuse me. So, yeah, 14, 14 pounds like... per one stone. <laughs> How many pounds per one stone? 14 pounds per one stone. Okay. I don't know so why we have a rock sports. measurement. Hey. It's kind of weird. It is a little weird, but that's all right. What's a pound? Not a lot of a stone, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> what even is a pound? Pound's money. Pound's a weight in our place, sadly. So we're we're not in the same metric system. She she tells you. Okay. There's the door. Kendra, don't at me when. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kendra, sit down. Have a have a wine. I mean, Tamara has literally drank in all of the wine, but why don't you just pull I mean, this glass. red left. I'm not. I just want to have like a girl powwow right now. She looks around for a moment. Where is Moga? I don't know. I've been in the kitchen, dude. Ah. How long have you been in the kitchen? Since dinner time. <laughs> you've been in here since dinner time. You, you've, you've not seen. Look, I have a really fast metabolism, Kendra. I can't help it. Kendra, why are you outing everybody like this? You did you, have some did kind you of see? Did you, did you see Moga leave then? I saw the fridge open. Uh. I, can, uh, I cannot believe you? that my father entrusted you. I, I'm not anyone's The metaphorical you, the, the lot of you. Uh, just, Listen, Dad was a good man. Just, he's, he's not your us. father. It's been a long weekend, oh okay? God. I think somebody needs a fucking glass of wine because this bitch is like all up on me. I'm, I'm so going. Here you go. Fucking take it. Can, just, just. Kendra, man. <laughs> There's good berries in it if you want to take it, Karen. Yeah. Karen, man. <laughs> Listen, man, why don't you like calm down? Um, should I have noticed Mogar leave? Because I totally one hundred percent did not. Um Listen, let's be honest. To be no, fair, you me, probably would have noticed them them all leave. Uh, the door isn't okay. exactly well, quiet. Let's pretend. I I mean I heard the door <laughs> go, but I was a little I was making I was making this extra dinner if you want I guess you if you want some. So none Next of you hands. saw none of you saw Mogar then. Nix hands the glass of wine to Kendra and proceeds. I mean, Mokar really does what he wants. Some Most of the time he's sleeping outside anyway, so she's even bigger are. than we are. Yeah, I mean, I can't, nobody can really tell him what to do. I tried once. Oh, that was a bad idea. I mean, can, mm. I did hear the door go, but I can't, I can't, so I wouldn't have, commit my life to who opened it. You haven't seen him then? No. I, no. You guys are the first I've seen since I ever went to bed. I don't feel like I have to ask for the save, but I... <laughs> it's just safe to assume that if you know that you're lying, then you should probably roll... Save. I don't know that much. A fortitude save. Definitely not a fortitude save. 
Oh. What am I rolling? A bluff. You're bluffing. Oh. You're lying. Oh, you got more points than bluff anyway. All right, so. It's okay. I'm going to fucking bomb it anyway. Yeah, there we go. I bomb it. <laughs> <laughs> you could roll a critical fail and I would somehow figure out how to roll a negative four on the die. I mean, I have minus one on strength, so I could do that too. Fine. I guess I'll just go looking for him myself then. Uh, oh, you, I, uh, well, why don't you stay with us for a little bit? And Is he not why... asking? You're wait, delusional. Ah, wait. You are absolutely delusional. You keep saying that my father was your father. You keep calling me a bitch right in front of me. To my face! She's honest. <laughs> She's honest in her opinions, Kendra. She's so we've got that going for her. She's a bit too, if I'm being quite... I mean, I love her, but you're not nice, Nyx. I mean, this is true. I'm not about it. Let's, you know, let's go around the table. Look, you have your glass of wine. Why don't we just have a girl power? Look, Kendra, look. I'm going to be straight with you. Hold on. Do you want to... I mean, do you want to not be... Stopping on the floor because. <laughs> Alright. Go on. Trying to goodberry? We're full. No, I now. do not want to have diarrhea. Hey, that's only a say tears. Well, I mean, no, I. You don't know that. You, If you wake up with diarrhea in the morning, that is not my fault. It's great for me, is all I'm saying. <laughs> um. All right, so Kendra, I just wanted you to take a sip of the wine and tell me what's the matter. Look, I'm sorry. Look, I apologize. I wholeheartedly apologize. Look, I know I'm a lot to handle. I'm brutally honest. It's just from living on the streets my whole life. And I I do apologize. You've been nothing but kind and sweet. I mean, look, you're letting Samara rummage through your fringe constantly, which I know is not cheap, you know? And I take out a gold coin, one of the many that I have for like buying all of the stuff, and I give it to Kendra. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm genuinely sorry. Give me a um, diplomacy. Shit. And are you actually sorry? Yes, I'm actually sorry. I would have been, you would have been like, I'm lying. I don't actually give a fuck. <laughs> I would have been like, it's so fitting. <laughs> She's probably more sorry that Kendra's pissed than she's actually sorry about the actions that she's done. Yeah, I, I'm definitely more. I'm sorry that you feel like that. <laughs> oh, you've muted. Lily, Lily, you muted. Lily. Lily. You're muted. I don't know how the fuck I just got muted. That was fucking weird. Um, no, Say but I, all of it I, again. I feel like... <laughs> Nyx knows that she definitely feels, like, taken for granted. And that's what I'm sorry about. That's what Nyx is definitely sorry about. She's not really sorry about anything else she said, but she's hella sorry for her feeling like she's being taken for granted throughout this whole entire thing, especially with her dad. And, like, yeah, we're the bunch of fucking misfits that, for some odd reason, all knew your father, but I'm sorry that we're like this. So here's a gold piece. Here's my friendship to you. And just drink the wine and bullshit with us for a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm gonna hop on over to uh, to our dear friend Mogar, Mogi Wogi, my friend. <laughs> you uh, you have taken it upon yourself to hide inside of a pen Aww. of ships. Look, <gasps> that's a big boy. Kitty, he looks so evil. That's a big boy. It's Vance. That's Lucian. Yeah, it's like Vance. <laughs> He is a yeah, big he's boy. definitely Vance. He comes, says hi, and then he goes, says goodbye. All right, what's up? <laughs> Give me a perception, please. No. Yeah, please? Okay. <laughs> no! All right, Milgar. You hear the sound of what sounds like wood uh, slamming on wood, sort of like a door. Someone coughs several times. And you can hear the rustling of um, what you can only assume is like tin or some kind of copper or brass on glass. It's the scratching, the sound of, of scratching. It's starting to move 
closer and closer to you. As it moves closer, you hear the sounds of the sheep. They begin to ba and prattle, getting louder and louder. As someone nears, you're all right, all right, it's fine. Calm down, calm down. And then there's a stop. There's a pause. Mogart, you covered yourself up, but you didn't make sure that you were stealthed. You were just trying to obtain heat. Whoops. All right, now who's there? Show yourself. I'm armed. What do you do, Mogar? Is there any windows? No. There's no windows? No, it's, <laughs> it's this is barely gated. So there are areas where you can leap in. But it's not really like it's 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 a pen, it's an enclosure. Is this during the daytime or night? This is night. This is still like just after. Does he have a lamp? Say that again. Does he have a lamp? Yes he does. So he has a lamp in one hand and a gun in the other, so he doesn't have a very stable hand, a, a hold on his gun. He doesn't actually have or a gun. Whatever. Give me a perception. Okay, Mogar, um, you shuffle some of the hay to where you can just see, and you get a lantern, and this person has a short sword. They've have they've got it drawn. And they're watching. You can't seem to get a look at their face. But with about how tall they are, you could assume that it's probably a man. Come on. Show yourself. So you already shagging my sheep. <laughs> is he inside or is he out? Is he inside or outside? But is he is he outside? Is he outside the barn or inside the barn? He's outside. Like, can he see me? Remember, oh, he can't like, see me then. It's it's like slatted. It's it's a it's a little wooden pen. So as far as seeing you goes, like he can see that there is a shape of someone there, but he can't actually determine who's there. Hmm. I'll report to you to Gib. I'll have you run in this evening. You know I have the power. Ooh, I know exactly what I'm going to do. So. What I want to do. Can, can, can. Oh, fuck. This is nighttime, right? All right. So this is nighttime. I want him to. Oh, yes. I want him to. I want to stay quiet. I want to get up and just wait by the door for him. Because what I want to do is, basically, I want to chuck a sheep oh, straight gosh. at him right when he opens. Like, chuck a sheep to the point where he gets back. Sheep is pretty heavy for a normal man, you know what I'm saying? He's going to go backwards. He can't catch it. He can't hold the sheep. You're going to go, whoa! You're going to fall back. If I could do that and run, he won't see who the hell that was. He'll only say a sheep. But, at the same time, I can do it because, again, I can be very nice. I don't talk. I'm just Mogar. I don't know if he's going to understand me. So I can try to talk to him, or I can try to just get out of there, get so out of the situation. It depends. It depends. What uh, What do you think Mogar would do in this situation? Would you go to straight to sheep hucking? Not sheep fucking, but sheep hucking. <laughs> Choking. Or do you uh, do you find yeah, yourself in a that. situation where you try to Mogar do your all way out of those it? things? You know what? Mogar has been through a lot. Mogar still, uh, uh, he, he just finished his rage, and I guess with this person with the short sword and what with his uh, circumstances, he's pretty much cornered. So he's just gonna go out with his hands up a little bit over his head, you know, just kind of like this to show that I am not gonna be doing anything. Okay. When you stand, you see the figure go. Oh, oh, he's big. I just go outside. I would like to open up, like open up the door. Mm -hmm. Again, one hand on top of my head, 
open up the door. The other then once I open up the door, walk out, other hand on top of my head, and then I would just like to just say just look at him and just say, Mogar. As he sees you, he lowers the lantern and the moonlight catches his face. It's Bart. Oh what oh my god Mogar. No wonder it's not surprised it's some sheep. What are you doing in the sheep shack? What are you doing? I hope he can. Can he understand Mogar? No, not really. It's not really the same. It's, it's not the same as being with Cypress. <laughs> the re what I want to tell him basically in my Mogar voice is that at night, I usually I wander, try to find a good place to sleep, but unfortunately, there was. I got lost. Rain and just started hitting. Was it rain already? Was that raining? There was some rain. Yeah, it's it's been off and on sprinkling. There was rain. I had no cover um where from where I was located as you can see. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to see if I can catch some cover to have a place to sleep to have not hypothermia or get sick. All in one word saying Mogar. <laughs> I better see if he understands you. <laughs> Let's try. If he does it, sort of. <laughs> Not really. He sees you kind of like you got a little bit of a shiver to you. You're kind of shaking. He notices that you're wet. Why aren't you at Kendris? Is everything all right? Mogar. But you this... you look cold. Mogar. Come inside. Let, I, I don't have any clothes your size, but at least you can sit by the fire and dry yourself up. Mogar, then after hearing that, he gets down. He d normally doesn't greet or thank people, but he hears that, you know, this nice, kind gesture. So he reaches out his hand in uh, in, in a way that, Mo he, that Bart probably is not familiar with. Uh, instead of a, a handshake, he brings out his fist to almost like a dap, but again, back in the days, they wouldn't have known that. This is something part of my tribe where we bump fists, but hopefully that uh, he will understand. Bump <clears throat> in his face. No, not in his face, just like, um, we're distant, so I'm just trying to like, do this to show him that like, I thank him. He uh, he kind of it puts his, his short sword back in, in its sheath and uh, he walks up to you, awkwardly so, sing your fist out, and he puts his hand underneath yours like you're going to drop something. And then what he does, I do is... He, does, he, he waits for you to drop something. And then Mogar grabs his hand, with this still out there, slowly with the other hand, grabs his hand gently and says, Mogar. Shows you that it's like this, and he says, Mogar. And then it goes. He kind of gets the picture, and he does the same thing. He knuckle bumps you. Right, well, we're not we're not going to hug it out now. Just just come on, C come inside. I walk in with them. You step inside and you see that this is a home that isn't excessively large. It it's pretty straightforward. There are a few rooms. It looks like there is a dining slash eating area. Um, there's not an upstairs, but there are multiple rooms. You can tell that this was a home that was designed to entertain multiple people. <clears throat> um, he he invites you in, and you see that there is already a fire that's burning. Do you take his invite? Of course. Okay. When you step inside, you see that uh, the home is fairly old-fashioned. There's not a lot of modern amenities that you have seen in the Lorimer residence. Remember, uh, Petros was a scholar. He he had a lot of features that were available to him inside of his home. Hell, he had he he had. I'm not going to say the chamber pots were necessarily like a big deal, but they actually had their own water closet, so they had that amenity of having a bathroom available to them. Uh, whereas in a lot of homes, particularly this home, doesn't have that. They don't have ice shelves available to to keep the the meat cool, so they would have to regularly slaughter their own. Uh, to, to, to keep food on the table. 
it's a family home. You see that there is a chair that is regularly avoided. Um, dust has been mounting up over the top of it. It seems that there's some kind of shawl or blanket that is draped just over the top. There looks to be a couch, or at least the best that you could presume to be a couch. Uh, it's just basically leather strewn over uh, a wood at this point. Not really much of a cushion, per se. Um, there's several blankets that have been mounted up over the top of it, and you can tell this is probably where he sleeps. Just off to your right, there is a very small hearth, and this is where you can see that the fire burns. It's a bright light, but it's a very narrow hearth, enough so that it just kind of draws heat to this one room. Would you want a blanket, or...? My father was, he was, he was a big man, and I could probably find you a shirt, something that you can put on. Mogar was already, when, when he saw the fire, he started already scurrying near it. He's on the floor. He's nowhere near the couches or anything. He doesn't want to dirty up his stuff because already, you know, he's pretty much dirty and clunked up. And he's already inside someone's home that was inviting him in. So he's just going to go into his spot, go towards the fire, and just put out his hand saying, Mogar. Like telling him, like, no, thank you, that this is just fine, just the fire. Okay, um, he'll disappear briefly for a moment, allowing you to kind of warm up your, your hands before he will return. Um, and he is carrying what looks to be some very old clothing. Um, there is a linen tunic that is quite broad-chested uh, for a, a much heavier set man. Uh, kind of narrow shoulders, but the arms are, are sagged, so you can tell that it's for a heavier set man. Um, and it looks like pants that have a bit of a drawstring on them. They are not very welcoming, but it's something to sort of normalize your look. Um, uh, he kind of places them down next to you, and he gives you like an elbow bump in the side. Uh, he pats down to them. Go on. I mean... It's close. You wear... You do regularly wear... More than just that, right? More than uh, your leathers and uh, your your flap there for. Well, you know what I'm saying. Mogar looks at him and just shakes his head. And just. Mogar. Well, you know how to put a shirt on, don't you? Mogar. Well, it, it, it'll keep you warm and. It would make me feel better about about this. Just please, please, just please. So he 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 sees that Bart really wants him to just be comfortable, and I'm trying to keep my guard up at the same time, trying to make him happy. Because again, we're at a, his house, so I respect his wishes, and I, you know, drop my trousers or not drop my trousers. I'm just gonna keep that on. I'm just okay. gonna put I'm gonna put uh, the the pants on, and then I'll put the shirt over, and then sit back down on the floor. Okay. Um, it the the top half isn't um, fitting around the, the shoulders per se, but it gives a lot of extra room in in the girth of the gut. Um, the pants fit nice, especially after you drawstring them up. But um, this is probably the first time anyone has given you um, clothing Correct. that would likely actually fit you. Which is difficult because you're like seven feet tall and 330 pounds. Leads you to believe that his father was also a fairly large man. Which Bart is not. Bart is not a big person by any means. You will note that the chair that I previously described, where there's a shawl that seems to be drawn over the top of it, much like a blanket would be, is a very large broken down chair. Um, Do I notice all this and I can kind yeah. of piece it all together? Yeah. He... Despite the, the sheer size of this home and how small Bart actually is, he lives alone. He sits back down on the couch, trying to fix himself, finding a spot to to adjust and situate himself. <clears throat> Why were you with the sheep? And since Mogar understood that he, he couldn't understand them very well, uh... Mogar then tended to start to show him signs like body language. So first he was like, Mogar, showing that he was cold, you know, holding up and says, Mogar. 
and Mogar. Uh, I don't know how to explain it to him in, in body language, but I went out to the house, out of the house, to just do what I do, which is wander. And unfortunately, I got stuck and needed a place for cover. Did you fall into the river? Mogar. Well, you... You must have been out there for quite a while then, because you're, you're rather damp. Uh, let's face it, lad, you're, you're, you're very... moist. Mogar. How smelly am I? Hey, you, you, it's, it's a... So stinky. It's, it's, it's... Smell like a foot. Like a could he, very could rich he, could foot. He, could... I wouldn't want to say it, but it could help me with my story that I peed myself. Because, you know, like, Mogar's just a... He's just an oaf. And I just pee anywhere, everywhere. It could have got on me. Okay, alright. So, that's why I'm a little wet. Especially on the, uh, the lower area. All right. That the theme that I'm in, that I got wet from, uh, you know, I have, I have a lot of water in my belly. Sure. Okay. Okay. I got my tea. You need more tea or you spilt your tea? It's cold. What'd you do? I had the wine instead. I'm a little fucked up right now. I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> Bob is like, yes. <laughs> Chat, tell us a story. <laughs> Doing anything like I've just been sitting here listening very intently to this wonderful She's story. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm fucked I up. That's how you know I'm <laughs> fucked up. Listen. Bart kind of repositions himself where he's got like one leg propped up, um, and it, it kind of pulls it to his chest, <clears throat> and he looks at you and he's like, "Why haven't you left yet? It's not not like, not that I wish you to leave, but you know, no one in this town likes you." Not just you, but well, Samara and and Samara's not doing anything Cyprus wrong. Cyprus and Solus, uh, you're, you're not you're not well liked. It seems that since Petros's death, that things keep pointing back to you, Mogar. It it looks really bad. So, does does Bart know at all that we, why we are there? Because Petros has basically asked us to go there to take care of his daughter and stuff, or no, he does not know that at all. He doesn't know that. He's not privy to that information. So, I kind of want to give him that information. I want to give him the summary of the story of why we're there, what happened on where we found out that this could have been led to necromancy, and we were trying to actually stop it, and trying to do the best that we can to get this dark force that Petros, we believe that he was studying to be able to stop this so the town could be 100% normal again. But unfortunately, every time that we try, circumstances are unfortunate and seem to turn on us to the point where when things are done, it looks like we have done them. And I, I tell this in the most sincere and most serious voice and everything, and, and I try to explain it to him with just saying Mogar over again. Mogar. 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 <laughs> he seems sincerely confused. <laughs> he stops for a minute and he's like, wow. There was some real depth in that. I don't honestly know what you said at all outside of your name multiple times. But I can tell that you mean what you said, and you said what you meant. Is it someone that that can that that can uh, tell me what you said? Can, can can you can you write? Let me see. I don't have charismatics, but I do have wisdom and intelligence at thirteen. Would that allow me to write? Did you spend any points in character creation for literacy? Like, did you particularly Linguistics? take points no. in language? Okay, then your character, you you are not educated enough to read or to write. Got it. But I can tell him that I do know somebody. Okay. And that somebody would be Cypress, because he understands me the best. Oh, Lord. Okay, so... I know. See if we can get a cardboard cut out and just, like, place him in there if we can get him. 
not we can't get them now but i mean like you know that's the only person that i would say that understands me but i don't know if the ladies un understand me or they try to understand me but the one i know the i most don't have me. linguistics I also oh, don't have linguistics. Fuck. Oh fuck! So we don't. We don't, You guys don't know what, what the hell I say some of the day. Some of the it's time. It's pretty much just Cyprus. He's your translator. Oh, yeah. God damn it! L O Y. Please. Um. He pauses for a moment, and he's like, "Something happened in town," and. I, the deputy in me asked to ask if you know anything about it. Mogar tilts his head, confused, and says, Mogar. Something happened at the apothecaries. Gib said that someone was spotted running away from the apothecaries after destroying the back half of the building. Did you have anything to do with that? Mulgar then looks up, thinks for a second, looks at him, shakes his head, and then Mogar sees, is there a map anywhere in the house to show, like, maybe where, where he is or where it's lo his location is? No? Nope. I don't have a map either. Give me a bluff. <sighs> Damn. Yeah. Damn. Let's, let's see this. He's lying. Why you oh, always yeah. lying? Why the fuck <laughs> you <laughs> lying? <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, all right. Oh, right. oh, oh. No! I made this one. Ah! Yeah. I'm, I'm going to use... I feel I'm, like he can I'm utilize use... the fact that there's a language barrier there, and just be like, well, we'll go. Don't you fucking dare. I'm going to use some of those dice that I've been so I've been storing. Oh, no! God damn. Oh, my God, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> Christy's using, going crazy. I'm using some of these desperation. In fact, I'm going to use three of them. Holy moly. How three? Do you get is there any way I can use desperation? Oh. Technically, yeah, you can. But even if but you use desperation, I will not get it. It will be twenty-five. Be That's it. correct. That's correct. <laughs> so, for the record, what if uh, he uses three of them in a row? I can't. He it's can't. only one. Um, he is allowed to use three courtesy, in a row. That's the reason. Why. Courtesy of all of my other games, I still have twelve more desperation that I can use. Fuck you, other game. <laughs> they have been using desperation to like fuck Wednesdays. Fuck Thursdays, we're gonna save our own asses. Look. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't like them anymore. No, this is what Ella said from the beginning. Fuck them over. Alright, I'm done. I'm fucking done. You know what? Every roll. Every roll is Every roll. Every roll. Even if I don't fucking need it, not 20. Fucking happen now. Desperation. <laughs> Christy say, oh my yourself. god. Brought the spot. I, think, this out. Br I feel like we need to commit to Prepare for a Fucking desperation war, my friend. Oh, you wanna no. go? Let's go. Daniel. Yes, my friend. Bart looks. Bart looks to you. Well, I don't believe you. That's I do believe <laughs> that you. You had something to do with it. I don't know what you could have done, because how do you take down a whole half of a building? I don't know. Uh, they would have seen you. They should have seen you. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, even if you weren't there, you're probably going to pin it on you anyways. It used to be totally Ogar fair. They, they agrees with what you said at that point, with with that they're gonna pin it on me anyways. Mogar cause knows he's just like Mogar. So just being totally honest, did you have anything to do with that? Mogar just says no. <laughs> like he says, in all honesty, no. But Mogar knows what needs to be done, and it's probably for. I don't know if it's just Mogar, but. I, I just want them because I wish he understood what I said, because that could have helped him out on a lot of things that are going to happen. 
because if I were to leave and they were not to, I, I wouldn't say leave the, the town, but I would never come back to the town, then they would never have my help for when what's going to happen. You're right. So, so that means that he's kind of fucking himself. But if you don't want that, then okay, I tried my best. So I'm basically going to tell him that I know that they're going to pin it on me. So I just am going to leave and you guys will never see me again. And if the day that you guys do need me, you're going to wish you had me. Why the fuck are you Batman right now? I was thinking the bat signal. Like, what the fuck, Mogar? Is that Batman? For real? I, I don't when the time Batman. comes that you need a hero. You ain't gonna get it. Do the bat <laughs> signal. Yeah, what the fuck? Now we need a fucking Mogar signal. It's just a fucking orc outline, like, in the sky. <laughs> I need a Mogar. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? So Mogar now is going to be the guy that is in the shadows. I need to learn stealth. Quick. <laughs> this, is fucking Batman. this is Batman. This is fucking Batman. So does this mean that you're going to start cross-classing into rogue? A berserk rogue? Can you do that? Dude, you can, yes, you train under rogues. You like can, you find yeah. yourself with a bunch of rogues and you train with them. Well, we did say we need a rogue. You that would be a crazy a sto like a story that how the reason why is because now I'm banished and I have to learn the ways of the rogue. Oh and my the god, yes, dude. Everyone's yes. like, please! Mogar's <laughs> been missing for two weeks. That's what he's been doing with his life. Training yeah. with the rogues. He's been missing for two weeks, yet suspiciously there's a tree out there that sniffles every time someone walks by. <laughs> it's just Mogar every yeah, time. Mogar's just like following uh, the troop, too. Like, he's not even oh doing shit, we got, a lot of, we got a lot of ways to go. He's just but like, I can train myself towards it. Yeah, Mogar's like slowly following behind us, like not really knowing that he's there. But so, he's basically I'm going to be Guts from Berserk. Oh Lord. I love that. I'm going to be that crazy berserker that will come out at the right time and destroy. <laughs> yes. Have you never seen Berserk? Yeah, I haven't. I have. That will probably be your favorite anime if you ever want to watch something that is gruesome and crazy. Like it is my favorite to date. I would be surprised if it was that's, their favorite. That's what my my character kind of was supposed to be around, like like crazy and things like that Dude, so. all right, I'm it's good it's it. it's it is really good admittedly it is it is Just, so, it's not for kids i i will say that uh he looks bart looks very confused lad you just said your name like 45 times tonight can bart count that high uh yes yes he can <laughs> <laughs> yes, he can. Samara, you rude ass. Yeah, you fucking rude. <laughs> she's mean. She doesn't like Bart one bit. You know what I think it is? I think she's mad that Bart chose a sheep over her. No, it's a bit like they, they abuse the cow and then he hasn't apologized and that bothers me. It's He's the worst human ever in, in the whole planet ever. And, he does. and also the sheep fucking thing is kind of weird. Not he hasn't way. at any point had sex with a sheep. He definitely has. He keeps sheep. He's behind a... She's not wrong, bro. So you, so you mean that every has. every farmer ever just has sex with his livestock? I'm not saying that. You're saying that. I'm That's not saying that. That's pretty much what you just said. He was also behind a tree with a sheep in very suspicious circumstances. You, you are blowing my mind. I mean, you're saying these things. I don't know how many farmers you know. Poof! That's my mind. It's blown. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. He's, he's got. He has nothing to uh, to. I mean, he for. did ask um, for sexual favors from people that were locked under his care. So yeah, he does actually. I mean, potato, potato. I don't. I don't think he's he's gonna. Kill I mean, people. if he's if you're part, I'm uh, Samara is a semi forgiving, awful not forgiving person 100 um, not going to apologize to you that's fine because i 100 want him to die <laughs> he's so not going to apologize <laughs> it was definitely definitely a business deal in that situation nope. i want to meet like, balls not I'll, I'll, balls I'll, I'll i'll let you out but boobies boobies 
Yeah. I didn't even get my fucking meatballs. Okay. What about buttholes. So, what I'm gonna do, okay. since he didn't understand me, <laughs> Daniel's like, anyway. Anyway, not no, 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 I'm just saying, like, mm -mm, they're fine. No, I'm just saying, like, what I'm gonna do is literally, like, because he doesn't understand anything I'm saying, and I'm, I, I, I can understand him. And so what Mogar does is, that's his last thing before he leaves. Because again, he's just in confusion, and he's not gonna stop me if he doesn't understand what I'm saying. So I'm going to reach in my into my into my loincloth where there is a little pocket. On the side. <laughs> and I was like, "There's I a don't. pocket. There's a pocket in your loincloth. It's generally where you tuck your wang." That's not that. <laughs> whip his dick out. It's on the side. Well, do I, I don't have a backpack. Well, I do have a backpack. Yeah. So I'm going. Is, am I wearing my backpack? I don't know. It depends if you would have taken it or not. If you don't think your character would have taken it, then probably not. Hmm. Well, he does have some type of like I don't know how to say it. Like he does have a or like a bandolier. pouches. Okay, so like so it's like a small side side like side small like belt pouches and stuff like that. Yeah, man, okay. that's what I'm talking about. Okay. He's still like he's he's naked, but not like fully naked. Man. Home improvement mogar. Go yeah, ahead. exactly. Home improvement mogar. Exactly. So I'm going to pull out this trinket that. It's it's not it's of no value to it has no jewelry or anything of like that. It is a wooden carving of basically an axe and a sword in a circle, and it's in a small way, and it's something that the half orcs in my tribe have learned to show the sign of thanks and the sign to show of peace as well as uh, gratitude. Um, we you usually give it to somebody that you really care for that that has helped you out in some way or form uh, if that if you feel that that's something that you want to give so i've had one of these for a very long time because again there's not very many people that have done these kind of things for me so i'll just give it to him i i, I tell him to reach out his hand i I'll put it on to him and then i just get up and start getting ready to go okay so it's like a token of appreciation then yeah all right uh, he kind of gets its understanding. He's not really sure, but you'll see that he kind of he'll like he'll lean over into some of his belongings and kind of place it in what looks to be um, a small bag nearest his uh, his boots. Um, and uh, as he sees you kind of gathering your things so you can exit, he's like, "You can stay if you'd like. I I don't know if I would go out there if I were you because well, they're walking around town looking for someone." And forgive me, Mogar, but you're, you're rather suspicious. If they see you, they might draw and call to you this evening. Um, there is a, a, a bed in the back, if you find yourself fancy for it. I generally sleep out here on, uh, on this ring, toss, couch. It's not much, but it should keep you comfy for the evening. See, like, I don't know if I should take that because, again, I don't fully. I trust him, but I can't fully trust him because I don't know if he's going to take me to Bub or Gib or anything like that or have Gib come over there or anything like that. So I'm just going to thank him for what he has done and I'm going to accept, say thank you, but I'm going to keep walking. Just say Mogar okay. and just keep walking. You give the, the general uh, the general nod of, of thanks, which is pretty much spoken in all languages, just the. And. You'll exit the door. Um, as I would you shut like the... to head. Go ahead. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, well, I was just saying I would just like to head that way and try to get out of the map. And I will not be with this party until probably other episodes, since I cannot be seen. And they are probably going to have people come to the house, questioning, asking for Mogar, things like that. Sure, sure, that makes sense. Um, you want. Realistically, if you if you stay inside of the forest, if you stay just outside of the map uh, in other parts of the forest, um, you are at risk to being like to having encounters with creatures, um, sturges, things of that manner. Remember, this place is under siege of the um, the, the the things that reside inside of Haramont. There's no abandoned homes or anywhere out there. Uh, you might find a like a small woodshed or something like that, but nothing that really will scream home. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for home. I'm looking for a place to keep 
for just you know keep keep quiet for a while while they look sure. around um you know actually there is the perfect place um i hope this is okay to all you guys i don't know i just want to kind of get things beefy i'm not leaving you guys i'm trying to i don't know it, it's planning for the future it's it's planning for the future because again we're going to keep being in the same loop, I would say. Getting caught, going to jail, yeah. getting out, getting caught, going to jail, getting out. Let's get the attention away from you guys. Keep people thinking it's for me. And then you guys can be able to move on forward and we'll meet up some way in the future. That's what I'm thinking. Or some way we could be able to do something. I just think Mogar leaves like this fucking scribbled note of garbage at the <laughs> front of the door. And then leaves. And we're it's just a little Mo. 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 And we're like... <laughs> He can't like read or write, so nope. I'm oh. I'm expecting it to be like like, like, your hands. like a charcoal drawn like wiener on a page, and that <laughs> <laughs> like that's gonna be it. We're gonna um, be like, hmm, this is definitely Mogar's wiener. Yep. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Mogar, you you don't really know where outside of town is is very befitting, but you can recall that uh, being inside and around the Loramores, they do have. Um, an out and it's basically it's an outbound seller uh, it's a seller that you have not seen them use at all it's uh it's been locked up on the side of the house and by locked up i don't mean like it's chained it's quite literally just like it's a rusted latch lock that goes over the top of it and you've not seen anyone use it the entire time now you can go to other parts of of this place like if you wanted to go to Whatever's closest to the town, but yet further. Like, I guess that one that you stated, if it's pretty close, that'd probably be the best. Well, that would be the Loremore residence. That would be Kendra's house. It's just in their cellar. Where's that at? In, where you guys have been staying already. So, you would want me to come back here? Like, hold on, let me point it. Select. So, you would want me to, yeah, you would want me to go back here and hide inside the cellar? There, yeah, it's, it's like quite literally a root cellar where they would store wood and things like that um, other supplies that Kendra hasn't used nor have you seen anyone else use it since you've been in town for like the last week and a half and you guys have passed by here several times you would have noticed that it would have some use but there's you know there there are, are weeds that are growing up around this it doesn't look like it's been used in a good long while um, there are multiple other places inside of the town that you can take uh, refuge in, but it's really kind of your call. You know what? I'll I'll go to the Lorimore residence. I would like to see if I can wait towards a little bit when people get inside their home, sneak over there if I can, I would, or just walk quietly through the riverbanks, get over there, open it up, and be able to stay there for the night. Um, but I again, I don't think anywhere near the town would be a really good spot because again, people can go over there, look around, and be like, "Oh, what is this? This is a cellar." Well, and the then... problem the problem is you'll never know when your allies are moving. If you're outside of town, you'll never know anything that's happening at all. At least by being in in this like root cellar, you have an opportunity at overhearing what they're doing because they'll just be overhead, even if they're never aware of it. Is there what is in the cellar? If you don't want me asking. Um, is that, is that I will see it if I choose that. It's one of those things where if you wish to investigate further, you can. All right, I'll go over there. Okay. Okie doke. Do you, I know of this? What of the, of the cellar itself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably would have seen it. Nobody's really said anything about it up to this point, but you probably would have seen it. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. When you approach the cellar door itself um it is wooden slat it looks like there is some kind of uh wood driven handle and you can you can lift accordingly but it's got like what looks to be some kind of brass locking mechanism do you do you un unlatch it is it able to unlatch or is yeah it locked? yeah you, you i mean you can you can just kind of turn it it's one of those things where it's it's got a handle and you just turn up and like half circle it i'll do it quietly Okay, sure. Um, when you do so, you will see that it kind of sticks a little bit from uh, from years of, of this being mostly unused. The swelling of the wood from how moist it naturally is, but you're able to uh, <clears throat> you're able to 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 sift this this lock around in a way that it, it opens the mechanism. 
Uh, the door's kind of stuck just a little bit, but as you draw them open, you are hit with this this gust of uh, of moisture. Um, it's this uh, this bit of, for lack of a better term, it's 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 very it's very dank. Um, it's got this heavy lingering scent. But you can tell that there are odors here that likely hasn't been smelled. Things, things haven't been here in a long time. Nobody's used this. It's likely even in, in Petros' last couple of years, he has not been here. Now, this is a dirt root cellar. There are no, like, wooden floors, nothing like that. There is wood overhead. Uh, and it's not very tall. You have to crouch to be here. Understood, understood. How big is it, though? Like, not tall-wise, but cellar-wise. Like it's it's about the size of the, the house. The, 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 the first floor of the house, yes. So it's quite large. Uh, well, not not the full extent of the home, but I would say probably like the uh, How kitchen. How much square foot? Kitchen, dining area, uh, square foot. Um, For about 500 square foot, if it's kitchen, dining area, about... I would say that... Probably it's about 300, 300 square feet, and that's that's big. That's a, that's fairly big, considering. All right, um, yeah, I, I guess this will have to do. Uh, I will be able to take out my back. Uh, did I? I guess my backpack is still inside the house. I yes. only have my, I only have my, and I have my rope. Like I have yeah. my. Because remember, it came with me mm -hmm. through there. I have my rope. I have my belt pouch. Can I get a perception, please, from Lily and Tosh? Yeah. If you cr if you naturally, oh my god, she could. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she was very confused by that. Oh. I swear to God, how, bro? Today is Nick's knack with him. Cheating, exactly. Not cheating. How do I cheat? This? Christian. What hack do I need for this? Go buy a lottery ticket for real. Like, what the I fuck? Really Nick, where you stand in the kitchen, you're kind of on, uh, I'm, I'm assuming some sort of stool or chair, and you're having this powwow with with Kendra, with Samara. She's had more wine than, than she can perceive, so I feel you, like that's fair. You feel something, a, a prattle in your feet, something like a jarring. It almost feels like a vibration in your feet. Mogar. Mo <laughs> it's just... Mogar. <laughs> <laughs> I have become a psychic. You you definitely feel something in your feet. You don't know what it means, but when you look up to the others to say something, neither of them, neither of them have noticed. They they don't notice that anything has happened. There is no response. They are none the wiser. What? They're none the wiser? About what? What? About the the thing that you felt, we're just like, I, I, we literally don't even know. It's just like, yeah, you guys are drinking wine. I'm just like, <sighs> yeah, like huh, guys, I think something's sweet. wrong. I think something's dead wrong. Dead wrong? I mean, feel it. I feel it in my feet bones. You are covered in very cold water. It's not about the cold, Samara. Please. And hey. In your titty crack. The corn that is in my pants means nothing. Just. There is something amiss. And I think it relates to Mogar. We don't know where he is. Well then, let us go find him! And then she chugs the rest of her own wine. <laughs> we need a search party. I don't get this tinkle in my foot for nothing. Do you have a travel glass, Kendra? There's an audible knock on the front door. <gasps> I'm psychic! There it is! Mogar, it's give me a perception. I'm not going to get that god roll. <gasps> Use desperation! 
Yeah, I'm gonna use Desperation. desperation. <laughs> yeah, eat it, all right? Yeet! Yeet! That too! <laughs> yeah, add that Desperation That's for That's very them. good. Yeah. Mogar, you actually are capable of hearing a knock on the door. <laughs> good. <laughs> Do you move over closer to the door? Do you guys answer the door? I answer the door. It's not my damn house. I answer the door because I'm just really on edge about everything because that tingle in my foot doesn't happen for no reason. Sure. Sure enough. I guess I'll like moochie follow along, but I can't. I don't want to walk all the way to the door. I'm going to stay in the kitchen just be like. Lily. Hello? Yes. Nix, as you. Run. Rem remarkably. Move your way over the door, haphazardly clutching your goblet. You pull up the latch, it. and you push open the door, and a hand stops the door, but fingers slink around the door itself, slowly pulling it open. She is this today. We show you that. There stands Why? Sheriff Gibb. He looks down to you, Knackle. Hello, dollface. You just give me one second. Finishes off her entire wine goblet. Sets it down on the floor. Hello. Man. Shh. This can be our little secret. Tell me, where... Where's the lady of the house? Kendra, just Kendra. I don't think this is okay. Kendra. Uh, Here, let, can let, I, like, let, let me try. <clears throat> uh, Kendra. Kendra, this is not I'm okay. I'm looking for a Miss Kendra. Can I be like... Can you hear me whispering? I don't even know. Just cover her mouth and go. And like, Kendra, this is not his bad. He's super evil. Let's just go where he needs to go. Where this, is the the, the the thing that you push your eye on? What's it called? People? No. The planchette. The planchette. The breast planchette. I don't know who's got the planchette. Does she still have it? You guys don't know. Ooh. But we... You, I, I, I wish we could... See. I wish we could say, use it! Use it! Look at him! You guys didn't want Nyx to have the fucking plan shit, now you guys are stupid. You see... How heavy is the door? Uh, it's I can't shut that. Heavy enough? Yeah, and Can Nancy's strong enough. Can you hand the door shut? Because technically I'm not lifting it. Alright, I got no. this. Hold, hold, on. Up hold up, I got this. <laughs> Why do you need the lady of the house when you can have the... The gnome of the house. See, I was and I'm like trying to shuffle Kendra away. Something a bit more than a snack. Are, are you implying I'm not the full goddamn meal? You don't even know me. You don't even fucking know me. You Hello? couldn't sate my desires if you tried. Try me, big boy. Fucking Where's Kendra? Try me. She is uh out. She's out. Probably uh getting it on with uh the barber or the um art. The magic man in town. The who? The magic man? Have you not oh oh my god, fans, do you um have you not heard of the proclaimed magic man? That's in town? Why you at? I have no immediate proclaimed threats. Why do you... Oh, he's, uh, he's try quite impressive. To be oh, is he not? Then he is? You, you could... You would could you like me to show you his, uh... Hop his off to him. If, oh, if you I needed... Mean, I, would, I would love to hop on him. But unfortunately, um, you know, he's just a little bit more magically inclined than you. Is and, that so? I mean, that's just what I've heard. The rumors about him are increasingly... Daniel, you uh, you can overhear 
this nonsense, these things happening at the door. You can tell that there's some sort of discourse and interaction that is happening. Can't quite make out all of the details. You're literally a fly on the opposite wall. So you're, you're hearing like... You can see just slightly. Give me perception. Very good. Very good. Mogart, you you find a spot where there's just a slight crack in between the floorboards, and you can see that it seems almost as if Nyx is moving from foot to foot. She seems to be hopping from her left to her right, trying to draw the attention of someone, and when you glance up, it takes a moment for your eyes to adjust, but it's Sheriff Gibb. It's the same man that you saw no more than an hour ago inside of the apothecaries. When you say that, you wish for nothing more than to hop on him. He quickly leans down in this meat bag of age, dropping to your level. And when he does, Nyx, in your drunken stupor, he moves his hand across, like he draws three fingers across your cheek. What do you do? I think I just smirk up at him. I don't really do anything. My hands are just like on my hips, like abruptly. And I'm just smirking. Like I'm just, try me. You like it's that try me face. Small and spry. The energy is- you fucking know it. A wellspring. Mm. How would I like to tap into that? He I mean, moves his, his hands. I don't mean I don't. I don't as, mean to interrupt as you. you try to as you try to interrupt him, he moves his hands behind your head, and he wraps his fingers up in the base of your hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> and he starts to pull, and you can feel that he's got a good grip on the back of your head. You can feel the pressure of him pulling on your mm-hmm. head. You know, Vance, as much as I love what you're doing, I just, I'm kind of sad to see you in such a disgusting body right now. It'll have to do. I mean, you could do better. You're not wrong. But you're you not, see, I'm not. there is power in this form. There are things that <laughs> I can do that no one will question. I mean, for now. It's not exactly like Gib is on the correct side right now with everybody. After everything that's happened, it's not exactly like he's the most trusted man. Yes, he's the sheriff, but you've gotten him in a bit of trouble. And, uh, how long will that go? See, from from your, like, where you're currently standing, you make up the most of his upper torso. And he's basically downed to one knee while he's up on his... It's sort of like a in that proposing pose. And he's got his hand just like, kind of like wrapped up in your hair. I'm drunk as fuck. I am not intimidated by sure, this man. Sure, 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 sure. That I mean, intimidation still does come into play if he attempts to do just that. <clears throat> I need a perception, please, from Mogar and from Samara. Kendra's just like, what's... I'm going to re-roll. What's going I got on? 13. I, don't, I just don't get it. I'm going to use desperation. Woo! Boom, 18. That's pretty good. Suck it, other teams. I've got another. Watch this. <laughs> um, I've been... Um, so yeah. I just want to ask in general. Sarah has been in the kitchen for a while. Is there an entrance to the basement? from the kitchen because no. generally they would keep full food underground to keep it cold now they would they would but then at, at this point they they would either run like the i the typical ice chest which is basically like a, a wooden box where they would run ice slabs or they would have what they would make like a makeshift um like a not sort of like a pipe but it's like a tunnel that would run cool air up from from low and they run these fairly fairly deep but in this case negative there is not anything like that here i want to hide kendra <laughs> Kendra's like, what's, what's going on? 
Is that a kid right here? I put, a, I literally put a bread bun in her mouth. Oh, like, oh, oh. Shush, shush, shush. It's pants. It's super evil. It's not okay. What's going on? some bread in her mouth. What's the, <laughs> what's the fans? That the lumper. The lumper. It's, it's, it's the attractive. Bread, okay. No. No. Eat the bread. She's got a sexy name, eat, though. Eat the bread and sober the fuck up, Kendra. This is not okay. You eat the bread and she sticks it in your mouth. <laughs> good bread. This is actually good bread. But this is not the time to talk about bread. Now is the time to talk about cereal freaking pillars, Kendra. Be quiet. Vance. And I'm like, shoving her a little bit in a cupboard begins to lean down closer and closer to you. You feel his face getting ever closer to yours. This five o'clock shadow, this mottled look of a man, despite everything, you can tell what really occupies this husk. You know the power behind the man that is here. You said that he doesn't intimidate you, that he doesn't scare you. You're, you're drunk. You're not wrong. He begins leaning down and he places his head next to yours. Mm -hmm. You know that stunt that you pulled where you pulled those panties from my pocket. That was my prize. After felling that woman. As I repeatedly buried myself in her over and over again, she moaned my name and then I convinced her poor husband to bring the block down on her head. Why Mix would you test me? Mix ignores like everything. She's like, was it before or after you climax? The 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 rock on her head. Give me a perception. <laughs> Next. Slay. You. You ask this question and you don't realize. He says, "Oh, I'll get to the point in just a moment." But that climax is coming a lot sooner than you might think. What is your AC, Nyx? Oh, Nyx! Uh, four, oh, total 14, um, but I have a dex modifier of three. You have no dexterity. You are flat-footed and intoxicated. You let him get inside of your bubble. You're practically occupying the same square. He has your hair, so is it more like 11? Maybe, probably. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm 11. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to use those two cheeky, cheeky desperation that were thrown for absolutely no reason. Well, I Look, bet you are. They deserve it. Do I convince Kendra that she needs to be quiet or no? I mean, she's like having this small banter back and forth with you over and over and over again about the bread and like whether or not Vance is cute and you just keep like you're basically passing <laughs> back and forth the moist bread like yeah I definitely yeah uh, and okay. you feel something pierce your stomach and it says I'll get to the point in just a moment oh no as soon as he says that he jams his long sword in your gut Seven points of lethal damage as you feel 
the cool steel of his blade pierce your robes. Do I hear this? You don't hear anything yet. <laughs> That's all you hear, Mogar. <laughs> Mogar, as you're paying attention, listening as close as you possibly can, blood trickles between the floorboards and peppers your face. You smell and feel the blood, the heat of the blood pouring over your face as you're looking through the floorboards. And then you hear the gurgle as Nyx hacks. How is, is the, is the, is Gibbs foot right above me? No, it would be Gibbs, like Gibbs knee, basically. Gibbs knee is right in front of me? Yeah. Like he's, he's kneeled down, right? Yep. Basically in the doorway. That's correct. So I can go the Mogar way and basically have jam the fucking battle axe straight up the board and then yank it down and have it go through his knee and through and like basically have him stuck Kill Gibbs. but then Gibbs but then Gibbs gonna die or wait until the finest moment to where everyone can see that what Gibbs is doing to lay a Gibbs the fault and then I can do all this so I need to I'm, I'm thinking right now I'm going to wait a bit even though she's hurt I'm the, sorry. Nick. The problem the problem also with that with that theory is that you wouldn't injure her at the same time. Correct, cuz I may injure her if I do that. Correct. Okay, so I'm going to wait. As you begin to bleed out and you hack this nasty guttural bloody cough. <laughs> he says to you, "You see you just resisted me." And I found out that you showed up at Jamenda's and it was your wrongdoings that it was you who destroyed her business and after you were requested to leave many times over you fought against me you resisted arrest and I did everything in my power to bring you to justice and with that you sleep now. He begins to turn the blade. <laughs> and you feel Samar's this, not seeing nothing? This wrenching pain internally as you feel like your insides are quite literally being whirlwinded. Take another point of damage. Yeah. That wasn't even me. And this is where I call the session. Ah! Damn it, dude. Why is it always me? Fuck, man. You're like the scapegoat. I don't mean to do this, but damn, you are the scapegoat. <laughs> the where it's like unintentionally fucking hurts. <laughs> well, I mean, you did steal the man's panties. I stole the panties. You stole the potions. What potions did you get? You should use it on him. I don't even fucking know. I was going to bring him back and look at him in the laboratory. Bloody, gutty, right. pushetti, right? God damn. Here. That was intense. That was a good episode for us three. That was really good. Like, honestly, I'm on the fucking edge of my seat. <laughs> I wish more Samara, though. I wish more Samara because Samara was eating. I think Samara did a great job at being like the drunken mom of the group. She's like, no, shut up, Kendra. Do you want to fucking I'm go for Kendra? I think next next episode is gonna be a doozy. Because if everyone's here, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. If, if we have a well, full if we have a full Elle's episode. gonna be mad. Oh, I already yeah. know that. <laughs> Elle's oh, gonna yeah. be mad at what happened. He's Elle's gonna be like, always fucking mad when the he comes first, back. Oh, he's yeah. gonna what come are you back and like what the fuck are you talking about? You ripped the fucking chimney out of the wall. Are you crazy? That's the first thing he's going to say. Yeah. Hey, by second the way, thing, next second thing, dude, it's going to be like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, he's just going to be, he's going to say everything. Here we go. I'm ready. Next session, it's my birthday. Is it? Are you serious? Oh, on Friday. Oh, so it's all about it needs to be, it needs to be, yeah, Tash and I are just going to have to get that, that spotlight, dude. Nice. Nope. I have to sing happy uh, birthday and dress up. It's going to be William for me, so that's my birthday. Nice, nice, my nice, birthday. nice. Very good. Birthday. 
So I hope uh, I hope everybody that's what that's watching had a good time. I hope you. <laughs> I did. I had a great time. Enjoyed it. Uh, maybe, maybe I can start convincing them to uh, to begin building the repertoire of their their outfit. I would love to consistently see what Nyx actually looks like. Listen, I have a lot of money. I'm just gonna go get a new outfit. <laughs> but again, like, look, wait, hold on. So I have this outfit that I haven't worn yet. That's not something I often <laughs> say. Okay, I look, guys, I have a I lot of money. Opportunity to wear it, but I'm, <laughs> I'm like a million percent positive Nick's would go to like the seamstress and get this fucking made. I mean, like, let's Nick's be would. real. She has she to get, like, troubling. this doozy of an outfit for the for the magician show, and she would wear it. Right? Yeah. I like I it. Think, I, you know what? I fucking... Just go ahead and say I, 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 I sort of... Uh, I sort of happens. expect you would wear that, and then you would have, like, these baubles, uh, like, littered yeah. over the top of it. Almost like ornaments on, on the outfit. <laughs> like the weird clown ones, but just... Yes! Like, sparkly. like, just little dolls and pins and, like, fucking stupid shit I find on the ground. Plus, now Mogar actually has clothes. <gasps> just have clothes. Oh my God, Mogar's growing up. It kind of looks like what is it well, like, well, Eric from uh, from Little Mermaid? Those kind of clothes, like a yeah. white shirt and that. Yes, that, that sh- Mogar. Kind of like that. That's, yeah. that's how I imagined the shirt and pants would be. I don't know what color they are, but uh, you know what? I would just let you decide. You, I, I would just assume that it's just like a linen tunic and drawstring pants, so long as there it's not go. like. Like polo. So are, we, are we actually like dressing up next week? Or why not? Why? Why yeah, not? Yeah, let's do it. Oh my god, I need like I okay. Excuse to wear this. Oh my god, I can't do this face paint again. Too was it bad? Was just, I am going for a meal. It stuck on my so face gonna, for like, like a couple days. I might oh, not be as good as last time, but I might spray my hair white. Then, then don't don't worry about the face paint, right? Just uh, what I do. Just okay, have, just put eyeliner there. Your big thing is about props, right? So like, find a find a prop battle axe and. And get the get the little tunic, right? Like get the the drawstring tunic top. If I can find it, that shit would be funny, bro. I believe in Dude, you, man. I believe I'm in you. So excited. I mean, if I don't something. die. Get you. Right, all right, I'll do it. I'll I'll fucking do it right now. Yeah, I know you will. Give it to me. All right. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna. Fall oh, ladies and gentlemen. White spray. I'm I'm walking a dog later, and I once did it. I went to a fancy dress party as Ursula. And like I hid all my hair away, it's longer than this, and I sprayed all my hair white. And my friends were literally like walking past me because they fucking recognized me without ginger hair. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, damn. Hi. <laughs> I'm like, hi, hi, bye. Does it matter? Hi. Does it matter a color? Do you do you do you care? Do you care about what are the they color called? Like, of your tunic? What are they called? Leather tunics. Um, I think it's like a. I, there's there's a lot of different names for it. Here we go. Like this. This Here is just go, a Daniel. long sleeve. I found you an axe. What the? <laughs> there you go. Do that's, it. There's um. I mean, I, I don't know if that's necessarily your size, but that's fairly close. All right. All right. I see it. I see it. I can wear that. I like the black. It has to be black, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keep you, the demon. You can, you can do that. Keep it. Keep it. I'm about that life. <laughs> All right, I just gotta find one that's Amazon Prime, so we can get this going. Prime me. You know what I'm saying? God, what, what we do Did I tell you guys Prime? about Amazon Prime and Twitch Prime? Well, let me tell you. So every month you get a free Twitch subscription to a channel of your choice. Have Books you checked to see option. if you have a subscription button right now on the top right? You should click on it. it see be. if you can be able to use your Twitch Prime. Above me. God damn it! I feel so weird when I tell people about Twitch Prime. I feel like a meme. Like that's Maybe. what I feel like. Meme it. Meme it till you dream it. I don't know. Like do it. Slaps the hood on this computer. Have you guys yeah. heard about Twitch Prime? Here we go. Yeah. Did you I know you. that you have ad free service if you link your Amazon Prime account with your Twitch account? <gasps> Take that link that's right amazing. there. That's uh there's there's a prime thing for you and it comes in a variety of colors. Yo, oh, that is straight up. Right you know what it reminds me of? Have you guys fucking pirate mogar Zorro. hocus pocus yeah that too hocus pocus well that's the kind of times i was thinking hocus pocus like it's the same kind of witches and i don't know what samara's wearing oh my God. Thank you so much. Much. dude thank those are the much. pants too yeah you can get the pants as well Where did uh, go, yay, look at that. thank you so much for that sub brother you're officially a subscriber. i told you it worked talkie yes 
fucking Twitch Prime. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And well, you didn't think it would work. Everyone here is mostly intoxicated, but that's all right. My feelings aren't Ooh, hurt. In fact, I think... Hurt? Why would they be hurt? Well, I mean, you were trying to seduce the villain of the game. You would stab I gently mean, in the stomach. What do you want me to do in that situation? You want me to... Oh, yeah, no, Kendra's, like, in the kitchen. Here you go. Like, no. I wanted him... You know what I wanted him to do? I wanted him to be like, oh, there's a power. I wanted him to get, like, really cocky and be like... Show me to him. And I would be like, right this fucking way, dude. <laughs> I want you to shove Kendra in a cupboard and then assist. But she won't go in the fucking cupboard. Eat some bread, Kendra. Sober up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, guys. Kendra's we're... drunk too? Yeah, yeah we you got guys, guys, yeah. We're having girl time. Yeah, you oh, did. I didn't do nothing. They were definitely like oh. having, having full on girl time. Guys. Uh, if you've tuned in in one manner or another, I'm I'm Bub. This is uh, my channel, Bub or not. We do this. We try to do this every Thursday. I would like to start building that again, if at all possible, uh, of getting this thing back up off the floor because this this game is just it's too much fun. It's it's like a I'm like a proud father with uh, with this group. They're they're pretty much my favorite. Um, I think it's a lot of fun to be like, can we do this? And Bub's like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yes, maybe. Hello. I mean, see what the dice says? That's really weird, but okay. Oh, the dice? So much and fun. You guys Can we climb on the roof? Find them. In fact, I'll let them tell you real quick. Go ahead. We'll start with. Uh... Oh, God. Oh, oh, yeah. We're definitely starting with Lily then. Oh, God. <laughs> um, hello. My name is Lily Vanilli. I am a full time creative writing broadcaster here on Twitch. I stream five days a week. Uh, I bring the weird, the strange, and unusual, but most importantly, it's all about being yourself, being true to yourself, doing what you do. I don't know. I play a lot of fucking games. I do a lot of art. I don't know. That's just me, and I just try to be weird, and the tentacles go in, and, like, hentai, I'm, I don't know. That, I'm just weird. But, like, yeah, you can find me no, at twitch.tv slash Lee Vanilli. It's always the a fucking good going. time. If you, hey, if this you a tentacle hentai, you know it's going to be a fucking good time. Hello? Does this right. work? I'm done. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, it kind of works. Kind of close. That's just me. All right. And then uh, next we've got Samara. Tell us about Hi. Natasha. Um, I'm Natasha. I haven't done Crave in a while because I'm dying. So it hurts <laughs> me to do it. Um, so I've been playing the video games on Twitch.tv, which uh, video games on Twitch is fucking hilarious. Um, <laughs> I've been playing lots of Skyrim. <laughs> But mainly, I would do lots of pearl craft. So, like, I made a D8 because I fucking can take that 3D things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> take <Wow>. that. <laughs> um, we just have a lot of fun. We're really chill, and I like to shoot things. And I'm now an archer in real life, so I'm hoping to record a video where I'm shooting things in the target, not in the face, because you shouldn't shoot people in the face. It's that's mean. that's accurate. You shouldn't. I think that's uh, that's that's Tasha, and then that uh, that leaves us with uh, the man, the myth, the Mogar. You muted, brother. No, I'm not. It's yep. okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just kidding. Hi, everyone. My name's Mogar, <laughs> hey, or known as Daniel the Demon. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Daniel the Demon. I am a full time variety caster, main on grindy, free to play games. Uh, I like to have a lot of fun, very high energy, very hyperactive. Uh, definitely catch me on there have a good time if you guys like but also going to leave you guys with a quick tip as well as a quick fact i just looked up on the internet oh no the it's today is always you true. know the facts on the internet the facts all right where my boys here he's look he's in japan right now and a japanese porn actor said if you dip your dick in a club soda for 30 to 60 seconds you may perform longer so ladies and gentlemen Right, Bob's banned for 24 hours, um, and we all know why. Yo. We all know why this one has disappeared. I'm about right. to be on that. I'm about to be on the club. So <laughs> live. No. I'll show you. I'll show you the poster real quick that I saw. That's why I'm oh. laughing because I said that. We all know why Bob gets a 24 hour Twitch ban. So I, I know that uh, Lily. I know that you've been drinking, but you, you need, you need someone who lives with you to take you to buy a fucking, a, a, a lottery ticket immediately. Yes. Philip! <laughs> what was Patrick! that? 
Pancake, are you fucking? fucking pancake, get in the car. That was intense. Yeah, pan pancake! Who let Pancake drive? <laughs> Too good. All right, guys, that's going to be it for us tonight. Um, next time, I hope that we have uh, Cypress and Solus, which is Elohim and DJ Tech Live with us. We're actually going to go ahead and... Um, and support our uh, our main man Solus right now. Actually, DJ is playing what looks like Warframe, so we're just gonna hit him with that uh, that hosty roasty. Do it. No, we're gonna raid him. Oh, I fly. Fine, fine. fine. Get, raid. We're gonna get the, raid. Get the it. fucking get the, get the raid, ball. lads. Everyone, copy the message. Post it in chat. Get the sure butter bomb. Here. Look, I'm really bossy. Um, I'm very aggressive, and I feel like you all need to share God. this with me. God damn. Where is he? Bombs. There, Dude, where I is am it? all for this right now. Also, I do need to admire a lot. All right, guys. Thank you so much for absolutely everything. I will see you tomorrow. I don't know what the hell's happening, but we'll figure it out. But for now... Stop in things! I love your faces. Uh, do what you do. Stay safe, stay nerdy, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Behave. Behave. Uh, or don't. I ain't you, guys. Do what you want. Bogar. Bogar. All right, guys. I got to actually get ready.